lives. The first, it was how we checked in with one another and tuned in to see what was going on in lives. But it, it, it shifted not just into a prayer gathering, but a discipleship gathering and a learning and a teaching opportunity in our Wednesday night meetings. We had special services for our graduates, special services with the men, special services with the youth. We had so much that was there and that was giving to us as we move forward. Ministry went forward over the last 12 months. As we partnered together, there were over 40 tons of food that went out from this place unto families in our communities. Over 40 tons of those in our fellowship, we gathered that. We served and, and, and recognized that we served dozens of college students throughout the pandemic and giving them assistance as they attempted to finish the semester and to start a new school year. Thanks be to God that ministry still went forward because in January 2020 and the years prior, we had done some packing. We had done some packing as a ministry, as a church, to know that the church is here to serve. Oh, I know you want to get back on your pew in a warm building and comfortable building, but that's not the purpose of a church. That's just some fringe benefit that comes with it. But when we can recognize that the purpose of a church is to do ministry, it's to serve. Thanks be to God. Let that be rooted. Come on, what you packing? What you packing in 2021? Get some of that fluff out of there. Get some of that lightweight stuff out of your packing suitcases. Be ready for what the Lord has. And so as we talk about getting ready and moving into 2021, it all starts and ends at the value of one day. It starts and ends at the value of one day. And that day is today and every today of your life. It all starts there. And so when we recognize the value of today, when we recognize the value of the minutes that are in today, we thank God for what he's had. There's a poem written by Dr. Benjamin Mays, that great African-American theologian. And he talks about every minute that we live. And in this poem, he says, I only have just a minute, only 60 seconds in it, forced upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it. But it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it, give account if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. The value of today, the value of this day, the value of this minute, it becomes so important in our lives. The psalmist says it, says it this way in Psalms 90 verse 12. He says, teach us to number our days aright so that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days. And the day that we number becomes today. That's the number one day. And we want to value today. Value this day. And so we recognize that. The songwriter says it this way when he says, I don't know about tomorrow. I just live for day to day. I don't borrow from the sunshine for the skies may turn to gray. I don't worry over the future, for I know what Jesus said. And today I'll walk beside him, for he knows what lies ahead. That songwriter penned it so wonderfully. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know that we can walk beside Jesus Christ as we face each and every day of our lives. We don't know about tomorrow. I want all of your tomorrows to be filled with sunshine, but I know some rain is going to fall. I know that there are some storms that will ri arise in your lives, some storms that will arise in our fellowship, some storms that will arise in our nation, in our parish, in our state. But I'm so grateful that we can sing again to know 
that we don't have to worry about the future. We can live each and every day honoring the Lord and praising Him. We don't know about tomorrow. And so tomorrow has enough worries and cares of its own. But we can live thankfully for today. The power of all your goals, of all your plans, of all your initiatives are found in your walk with Jesus today. Hear me. The power of all your goals, the power of all your plans that you have for 2021, the power of all the things that you want to do in 2021, they're only found in the walk, in the walk that you have with Jesus today. All of those things that you want to see are, are coming across the horizon, they're only found in the power that you have with Jesus today. Don't put things off. Live in the power of the Lord today is my plea. Listen to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. The Lord determines his steps. And so, friends, the best thing that you and I can do in the year 2021 is to live in the urgency of today. Live in the urgency of today. To value one day. To value today. Stop putting off what you need to be doing today. Oh, I'm going to quit this habit tomorrow. I'm going to quit doing that next month. Stop. Stop. Stop putting it off. William's funeral home is being filled every day. Every day by people who said, I'll wait. I'll wait for that move on tomorrow. Stop. Stop. Hear the urgency of today. Hear it. Please hear my heart as you start 2021. Don't go around. There's going to be some new hand sanitizer you're going to be looking for. It won't be hand sanitizer, but you're going to be shopping for something that you just can't get. It's available unto us today. God's grace available to us today. You can build monuments of today, trying to hold on to today. You can put, you can bury a time capsule today, trying to encapsulate all the wonderful things of today. You can even make laws about today, wanting today to be so marvelous and so wonderful. But no, the best thing you can do as we value today in our lives is to do as Paul writes in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, when he says, Offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing unto God. Offer your lives holy and pleasing unto God. That's the one thing, that's the best thing that you can do today in your lives. Hear me. We don't know what 2021 holds for you, but the best thing you could do today, offer your bodies, offer your lives as a living sacrifice. Holy, holy, Lord, my temple is holy before you. My mind is holy before you. I'm in love with you, Lord. Take away from me all that's not pleasing and acceptable in your sight. I want to worship you. I want to worship you by giving my life, offering my life unto you, O oh Lord. That's the best thing that we can do. There's an urgency for us to do this today. So much is dependent upon your actions today as you move forward in the year 2021. So much, so much is key what we do today. Our 2021 is dependent upon the actions upon the decisions, upon the choices that you and I make today. I'm not asking you to climb the highest mountain today. I'm not, ha I'm not asking you to invent a cure for cancer today. Nor am I asking you to come all the way out of debt today. Nor am I asking you to accomplish all the dreams that you have today. What I'm asking for is for you to offer your lives to God today afresh and anew, which is our reasonable act of worship 
to offer our lives unto God today, to present our lives unto him, to use each day of the year 2021. You know, God has much to do in the year 2021. God has much to do in our lives in the year 2021. Again, if you knew in January 2020 what you know today, how would we have lived differently? God wants to do some things in your life in 2021. God wants to do some things in your family in the year 2021. God wants to do some things in our community in the year 2021. 2020 was a big struggle for our community even before the pandemic. Hatred, violence, murder in our community, in our area. If we knew in January 2020 what we know today, God wants to do some things in our community, wants to do some things in our nation, wants to do some things in our world. God wants to do that. When we recognize how much lives and generations are at stake, we can sit back, talk about the youth, talk about the young adults, talk about their actions, or we can do some interceding. We can do some, some, some kindness and some mercies. We can do some mentoring. We can avail ourselves and avail some of the resources that we have. If we can believe and to know what God wants to do in the year 2021, if we can pray, give God permission to interfere and to have his way in the year 2021, and not just saying, well, we're going to hang on and try to coast through the year 2021, value each and every day the greater and the greatest thing that we can do lives and generations are at stake you're putting off and to say well i got time for my grandchildren i got time to teach them something better i got time to do some things with my children no no you don't know that you don't know that scripture james chapter 4 teaches us against that all our plans we're going to do this one day we're going to do this when i get around to it no 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 that's not the calling that we have Today, we offer our bodies as living sacrifices unto God because so much is at stake. And it starts by you and I offering our lives, offering our existences as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. That begins how we reimagine some things in the year 2020. Reimagine what God is doing, what God's desiring to do. Reimagine some things when we look at the negativity and we look at the news and we look at this and that. But we can begin to reimagine what God wants to do. All because individuals like you and like me are offering our lives as living sacrifices. Lord, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you know what? That's not for me to figure out. All you've called me to be, what you've called me to do, is to offer my life unto you as a living sacrifice. Use my life. Use my words. Use my gifts. Use my talents. Use what I have in my hand, Lord. Use it to your glory. Lord, harden your hearts. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 8 lets us know this. You know, I believe that God is calling you to be a difference maker. You don't have to represent thousands and thousands of people to be a difference maker. You can be a difference maker right there in your homes, right there amidst your family members. I believe that God is calling you to be a decision maker today. I believe that God is calling you to be hope for somebody today. I believe that God is calling you to lift up a message of possibilities for somebody's life. Today, he's calling you. I believe that as, as you would hear God's heart, that God is calling you to be an encourager to somebody today. He's calling you to be light in the midst of somebody's darkness today. God permission to move, giving God permission to have his way. And it starts with you and with me 
giving our lives unto the Lord that he may use it. As we ready ourselves for this prayer time and ready ourselves to transition into our time of communion that represents a time that we can offer ourselves unto the Lord today. 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 What God is desiring to do in our lives today. You may think that your life has been lived to the fullest and you have no more value in your life. You're just trying to hold on and you're dealing with so many things in your life and health issues and concerns and you feel that you can't offer anything unto anybody. Listen, offer it unto God and God will use your life to be a blessing unto somebody else. Not because you looked out and you said, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this one and do that one. No, we offer it unto God. Unto God. Lord, thank you. Thank you for this year. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this is the day that we can give to you. And our lives can be a living sacrifice unto you. We worship you in giving our lives unto you. So many things are calling lies today, oh God. So many people are trying to build their popularities, that they are compromising so much just to be popular. Some folks just want to be a part of the in crowd. They want to be a part of what's moving and what's popping. They want to be a part of the club life. take our lives Lord God as we offer it unto you Lord God we thank you for that and even as we prepare ourselves to take the elements of the Lord's table today we thank you Lord God that this is an opportunity today to fellowship with the with the host of the meal with Jesus Christ as we think and recognize the sacrifice that he has made unto us his body broken for us, oh God. The cup representing the blood of the as we start the year 2021. And we know that it all starts with our walk and our fellowship with Jesus Christ. There's expectancy. You're coming again, Jesus. There's expectancy in the year 2021 as we live and as we see you open doors. And we can live under an open heaven today because our relationship with Jesus Christ. Hear our prayer today. Amen. Amen. So as we welcome you to ready the elements as we receive communion today. There's an expectancy in the year 2021. Expectancy of what God will do, and it starts today as we offer our lives, our bodies, as living in the blood of Jesus. You're, you're nullifying the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus becomes powerless because you're saying Jesus can't do something in your life. As you take the bread, may this be deliverance if you choose to believe.